This video is sponsored by the fine folk over at SCD Keys. On this channel, we're always talking about saving money and getting great deals, and that's what you can do by picking up a $50 PlayStation Store card from SCD Keys. If you head over to their website, link is down below, and search for a $50 PlayStation Store card, you'll find it. Go ahead and add it to your card, and use our specialized promo code GC3 to save 3% on your order. That'll bring the cost of the card down to $46.64. You can check out and choose your method of payment. Your key will show up on your account, and boom, just like that, you got a $50 PSN card a little bit cheaper. Not only do they have great deals on PlayStation Store credit, they also have Windows 10 and other software heavily discounted, and you can get great deals on those as well. Again, check out the link to SCD Keys in the description box below. In today's video, we're talking all about the Battlefield 5 beta being absolutely free. Yes, there is nothing you need to do to get into the Battlefield 5 beta. On the start date, you can download the beta and you're good to go. We've got some more details on Spider-Man that's coming to the PlayStation 4 next week. It's a major exclusive. And we've got details on a day one update as well as when the reviews are going to be posted. Rainbow Six Siege is getting its next big update with Operation Grim Sky, and we've got a release date for that. We've also got some details on some very specific statistics with God of War. Sony Santa Monica has posted a very in-depth infograph, so I wanted to take a quick look at that. Just Cause 4 has gotten its full world map revealed, and we want to take a look at that. And lastly, we've finally gotten a little bit of a word on Go of Tsushima and what Sucker Punch is up to. That's another PlayStation 4 exclusive that's a little ways out. That's probably going to be a 2019 game, but a game that I am personally very much looking forward to, so I want to give that a shout at the end of this video. First, let's talk about Battlefield 5 and the fact that you'll be able to try out the game absolutely free. Yes, on September 6th, when the open beta is available for everyone on 1 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Central, 4 a.m. Eastern, you can download the beta and just play. There is no caveat. You don't even need PlayStation Plus. All you have to do is have a PlayStation PlayStation 4 with a PlayStation Network account, head over to the PlayStation Store. Now, I do have to mention that there will be an opportunity for an open beta early access if you do pre-order a copy of the game. So there is that, but I think that's absolutely fine. If you want to offer an open beta early access if you pre-order the game, that's totally fine. I can't see anything wrong with that. And you will be able to preload the beta on September 3rd. So open beta early access starts September 4th. Open beta available for everyone starts September 6th. And the open beta will conclude on September 11th. I think that's a great idea to offer this game to everyone for free, as we know that commercially this game has been a little bit lackluster. Now we do know that the game has been delayed until November. Hopefully it can pick up some steam in the coming months, but with other games coming like Black Ops 4, Red Dead Redemption 2, Fallout 76, you would expect Battlefield 5 to be a game that would be on par just a little bit behind those games, but no, it's significantly behind those games in terms of anticipation and hype. Maybe that anticipation will slowly start to grow. We shall see. Again, it'll be kicking off September 6th for everyone. If you do pre-order the game, you can start September 4th. Moving on, it's pretty incredible to think that we are just six days away from the release of Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. This game was announced a couple years ago, and it had been rumored on for such a long time, but now we are coming up on the release, and we've got details on a day one update. Specifically, the game is getting a photo mode through a day one patch, so that's pretty cool. They actually uploaded a dedicated trailer for the photo mode, and there are a lot of different options for you to utilize. Different lenses, stickers, backgrounds, filters, frames, and a ton of other options so pretty cool for the photo mode in marvel spider-man it seems like for a playstation 4 exclusive photo mode has become an absolute necessity in every game and i think it's a really nice diversion i think if you really want to appreciate the scenery of the game and it's always an inclusion that i will appreciate and in a game like spider-man considering we have this massive open world to explore i think a photo mode is going to be absolutely awesome and speaking of spider-man if you're somehow still not sold on the game you might be wondering when the reviews are going to go live and how this game is going to score well the reviews for the game will be going Going live on September 4th, so that is this coming Tuesday. You'll have a couple of days prior to the game's release on September 7th to make a decision for yourself. I expect this game to be reviewed very well. It'll be interesting to see if it can break that 90 threshold. I do think it can, but I wouldn't be surprised if this game settles at like a horizon level of an 88 or an 89, just teetering on that 90 tier. And when you hit that 90 score on Metacritic, that's when you know your game is really incredible. A lot of games seem to fall just a little bit short of that and get to that 88, 87, 89 tier. It'd be cool if a game like Spider-Man could break 90 because that's showing that Spider-Man as a license has finally been done justice in the video game realm. We've had Spider-Man games in the past that have scored okay like Spider-Man Shattered Dimension but nothing that has been received truly incredibly. Hopefully with Marvel Spider-Man on September 4th it is received really really well but that's going to be an indictment on the game itself. Moving on from that Rainbow Six Siege has been one of the best multiplayer first person shooter experiences this generation and it's getting its next major update in early September with Operation Grim Sky. 
5. It'll be going live on September 4th, so just a couple days away, and Grim Sky will also be introducing two new operators to the game, Maverick and Clash. There are also other game-changing updates being introduced. GameSpot's got a pretty good article, so we'll leave a link to that in the description box below if you want an in-depth look, but Rainbow Six Siege continuing to become a better and better experience, and it has become one of the most popular multiplayer games on the market today. Pretty crazy to see how that game has evolved since its original release back in 2015. Moving on from that, Sony Santa Monica Studio, the developers behind the great God of War game, have released a pretty interesting infographic about the game with various statistics. For example, out of the 9 million people that have played the game, 493,240 have obtained the Platinum Trophy. That's around 5-6%, to 6 and I would say that's a pretty good number considering God of War's Platinum Trophy. You know, not everybody is going to invest that much time to getting it, but hey, nearly 500,000 people did so. The most popular Leviathan upgrades are Nell's Touch and Invaldi's Anvil. The most popular Blades upgrades are Spartan Charge and Tartarus Rage. 1.6 million have fully upgraded the Blades of Chaos. Most popular Atreus equipment as far as armor goes, the legendary Runic Vestiment, the Summoning of Wrath of the Wolf, and 828,000 people have fully upgraded Atreus's skills. And then probably the most interesting, they have a kill-to-death ratio on Sigrin versus you. So Sigrin's kill-to-death ratio on average is 24 to 1. It's 12 to 1 on Give Me a Story, 34 to 1 on Give Me a Balance Experience, 36 to 1 on Give Me a Challenge, and Give Me God of War, it's at a staggering 100 to 1. I don't really know anyone that was able to do it at Give Me God of War, but 100 to 1 kill to death ratio, that seems absolutely ridiculous, but some fun little statistics there. We'll leave that post in the description box down below. It's labeled as God of War versus you, and I thought it was rather interesting to see how people measured up in the game. Moving on from that, Just Cause 4 has gotten its full world map size revealed. It looks to be another pretty big open world game by Avalanche Studios. The distance calculated for the map is around 1,024 kilometers squared. That's roughly the same as Just Cause 2, but if you directly look at Just Cause 4 and just Cause 2's map, you'll notice that Just Cause 2 is filled with a lot of water. With Just Cause 4, the majority of this is land, so it does look like there's a lot more land to explore when you directly look at Just Cause 2's map compared to Just Cause 4. You could say the similar thing for Just Cause 3. Honestly, the map can be as big as it wants. There is one talking point with Just Cause 4, and that's how is this game gonna run. Just Cause 3 was an absolute train wreck on the PlayStation 4. Let's hope that isn't the case with Just Cause 4, because if that is the case, I think a lot of gamers are just gonna lose faith at the franchise at that point, because while Just Cause 3 was a good game fundamentally, my god, its technical issues were some of the worst I have seen all generation. So let's just hope Avalanche can get it right with Just Cause 4. At the very least, let's hope this game runs well on the PS4 Pro. And lastly, Ghost of Tsushima is another upcoming PlayStation 4 exclusive with a lot of potential, and Sucker Punch has been a little quiet since E3. However, they've broken their silence a little bit on Twitter. Here's what they said, It was our honor to be visited by two legit Japanese samurai last week. Working with these folks is a fun and dangerous part of our jobs. Thank you so much for reminding us how special our jobs are. That's pretty typical of a Sony studio to bring legitimacy to their game, in this case by working with Japanese samurai. To bring some authenticity to Ghost of Tsushima, it's not like like this game didn't have that authenticity, this game is shaping up to be incredible, and it's one of those PlayStation 4 exclusives that prior to E3, a lot of people weren't talking about, but then we got that gameplay reveal at E3, and it seemed to have captivated everyone, and it is being developed by Sucker Punch, the guys that made Infamous, the guys that did Sly Cooper, so you know this has potential to be something special as well, and it's always great to see that Sony Studios are jumping around from various IPs, they don't settle in on one IP, even if it is successful, look at what Guerrilla Games did, Killzone was a successful franchise, but they did something so completely different with Horizon Zero Dawn. Sucker Punch Infamous was a successful franchise, but they're doing something totally different with Ghost of Tsushima, and they're probably going to be rewarded for doing so because the game has a lot of anticipation behind it, and it's probably going to do very, very well as long as the quality is there. And with Sucker Punch, with how the game's been looking, I'm sure the quality will be there. So that's going to conclude this video. Again, the Battlefield 5 open beta will be free for everyone. It'll be kicking off on September 6th. Preload begins September 3rd. Open beta early access kicks off September September 4th. Spider-Man will be getting a photo mode through a day one update, and the reviews of the game will finally drop on September 4th, that is this Tuesday. Speaking of September 4th, that's when Rainbow Six Siege's next big update, Operation Grim Sky, will be dropping. Two new operators and a slew of other updates will be hitting the game. Santa Monica Studio has unveiled some God of War statistics, and they're pretty fun to look at. Again, link to that in the description box below. We've got the full world size of Just Cause 4, and Ghost of Tsushima is bringing with it some authenticity. That is going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.